What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf coins, and if these are good for silver stacking or not. So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video, I sincerely appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you would just like to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's talk about the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. Now, if you are a silver stacker, then you're probably already familiar with these bullion coins. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to talk about them as a coin in general, give you some basic information on them that you might not know. And then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on these for silver stacking. So to start off, the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs are minted by the Royal Canadian Mint. And they've been making these since 1988. So that is very cool. Uh, they've been around for quite some time. And uh, I'll actually show you the obverse here. So we'll go ahead and flip it over. Uh, this one I'm holding in my hand is from 2020. So there you go, a brand new Canadian silver maple leaf. And this is the obverse here. It has Queen Elizabeth II on it. Uh, this is actually the third version of her portrait. So if you get some of the older ones, she might look a little bit different or younger, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, it does have a $5 face value. You can see that there on the bottom. And then if we flip it over to the reverse or the Canadian silver maple leaf portion, this is the part that most people like to look at here. Uh, it says Canada up at the top, uh, four nines find silver, one ounce argent pur or pure or something like that. Uh, and of course, uh, because it's four nines fine, a lot of people think that this is uh, has more silver in it than other one ounce silver bullion coins, but that's just simply not true. This has one ounce of silver, just like the uh, American silver eagles, like the Australian silver kangaroos, and uh, you, you know we got the Britannias. All of those are one ounce silver bullion coins, and they all have one ounce of silver in it, just like the Canadian silver maple leaf. Uh, this one is four nines fine, which means it has been purified slightly more. So there's a little bit less copper, I suppose you could say, in the Canadian silver maple leaves as opposed to other silver bullion coins. Uh, but this one, as you can see, does have the radial lines coming out from the leaf. So those are the little lines uh, sort of going out in a sun pattern, I suppose. Those were added in 2014. So before 2014, they actually didn't have those. And then they have the little, uh, sorry, I'm bumping my camera here, but on the bottom there, there's that little uh, micro engrave laser mark, the little leaf there. So that is the security feature along with the radial lines. I actually have an older one here uh, before 2014, and you can see there's no radial lines on it. So that was something that was added later. Uh, the reason they did that was to help prevent from counterfeiting because something like this is a little bit easier to counterfeit. And so uh, that's pretty cool that they add those security features. Uh, this particular one happens to be from 2011. So there you go. So uh, up in uh, 1988 until uh, 2013, they looked like this. And then after that, they have the radial lines on both sides, obverse and reverse. So that's very cool that they added that. Um, one other thing that I want to talk about is that the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs were very well known for their milk spotting until 2018 when they actually added the Mint Shield technology. So what's the Mint Shield technology? Well, I think I actually have one from 2018. Uh, here we go. And as you can see, there's not really any terrible milk spots on it, so that's great. Uh, but before 2018, they did not have... Whatever the Mint Shield technology is, they actually haven't said specifically, but I think it's basically they just clean the coins a little bit better before they go ahead and anneal them. So let me show you some older ones here that probably have bad milk spots on them. Yeah, here we go. So this one's got some pretty bad milk spotting there on the left. You can see that's sort of the white patch. Um, oh yeah, this side's really heavily milk spotted. Look at that. So this is very typical of Canadian silver maple leaf. So over on the right, you see all that milkiness right around the 2014. Uh, basically, how that happens is 
before these coins are actually made into coins, they're just planchets, which is a basically flat cylinder type disc thing of silver, but no design on it, right? So it's just completely flat. Uh, and they clean those. Uh, they use a detergent uh, similar to borax, or it might actually just be borax. And then after they clean them, they anneal the planchets, uh, which basically means they stick them into a hot furnace, which gets the silver up to about 1,000 degrees. And it makes it a little bit softer so that when they go ahead and stamp the image on it, the image comes out nice. It's a good, clean-looking coin and everything. Uh, but sometimes when they clean them, that uh, borax stays on there. And then later on, after the coin has been minted and sold and everything, uh, perhaps a year or several years later, you'll see these milky spots come up on the coins. So this was extremely common in all Royal Canadian Mint products until 2018. They finally put a stop to that. So uh, anyway, that's basically what the milk spotting is. Now, uh, my 2018, I haven't noticed any on it yet. So whatever their mint shield technology they've put into action is actually seems to be working. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that is a little bit about the uh, milk spotting on them. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the mintage. So there, these actually do have a very high mintage. These haven't been minted as much as the American Silver Eagle, but very high. So these are probably either the second or top three uh, minted one ounce bullion coins in the world. So they're very popular, uh, very liquid. In fact, in 2014, these had a mintage of over 29 million. So I think that was the highest mintage year. Uh, quite a few Canadian silver maple leaves were made and minted that year. The lowest mintage uh, was right around 100,000, and that was in 1997. So if you have any Canadian silver maple leaves from 1997, that is the key date. It's the lowest mintage, and those are actually worth a little bit more than the other ones. So if you've got a whole bunch of Canadian silver maple leaves, I would... Uh, I guess encourage you to look through them and see if you have any 1997s just because those carry a little bit extra of a premium. But most of the uh, Maple Leafs don't carry an extra premium. They're just considered one ounce silver bullion coins and they're basically worth their weight in silver plus maybe a little bit more. Uh, if you buy tubes of these, they come in tubes of 25. Uh, they've got a yellow top, and then a monster box is 500, just like the American Silver Eagle, but it's only 20 tubes of 25, not 25 tubes of 20. Okay, there we go. So, oh, and another thing I wanted to mention is that the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs have been made with tons of different privies. They've been made in fractional sizes, uh, in larger sizes like 2 ounce, 5 ounce, 10 ounce. They've also made hologram versions and incuse and commemoratives and all sorts of crazy stuff. So... I'm talking about just the regular bullion coins in this video, but they've made tons of different versions of these. And if you wanted to collect, like either the ones with privies or whatever, you can totally do that. People collect them. Uh, but anyway, let's just talk about the bullion pieces for silver stacking. So that's a little bit about the Canadian silver maple leaves. I know I actually probably covered a lot about them. That's everything you need to know and maybe a little bit more. Uh, but let's talk about them as silver stacking pieces. Uh, so what is uh, the pros for stacking Canadian silver maple leaves? And probably the biggest pro is that they're cheap. Um, and so as far as silver bullion coins, these are very inexpensive. Uh, you can regularly find Canadian silver maple leaves on sale for under $2 over spot. In fact, I would never pay more than $2 over spot for a Canadian silver maple leaf. Uh, usually that'll be the random year ones online. But uh, regardless, you can find them cheaper than that as well, sometimes $1.50 over spot or maybe even less. So they're very cheap and very easy to stack for that reason because you can buy them close to the silver spot price. And when you're silver stacking, you want to be picking up your silver as cheap as you possibly can, of course. And so Canadian silver maple leaves are a, gr a great way to do that. Um, now, as far as uh, some of the other uh, pros is that they're very recognized. Pretty much everyone knows about the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. I mean, these have such a high mintage. No matter where you go in the whole world, everyone's going to know what these are. And they'll be very easy to sell if you ever need to sell them. And of course, because there's so many of them, they're very easy to buy because they're pretty much available everywhere. And then another thing I wanted to mention is that when you go and sell your Canadian Silver Maple Leafs, for me personally, I actually get a premium back when I sell these. So unlike other pieces of silver or even other silver coins, 
I get no premium. I get pretty much spot when I sell. The Canadian Silver Maple Leafs, I actually get 60 cents over spot when I sell them because they're so liquid. They're so desired by the uh, local coin shop that I go to. They will give me a premium. So, And I should mention that is for pretty much perfect condition Maple Leafs. Uh, ones that they can sell at retail. So if I have some that are really heavily milk spotted like some of those other ones, they're not going to buy those from me for 60 cents over spot. They'll buy those at spot or maybe just a hair under. The ones like the one I'm holding in my hand that pretty much look perfect, those are the ones that'll give me a premium back when I sell. So as far as silver stacking goes, these are a great option. They're actually a favorite for many people, especially if you live in Canada. This is probably like no question the number one thing you should be stacking. And then if you live here in the United States of America like I do, these are an excellent option. A lot of people stack maples. Uh, and if you live in Europe or other parts of the world, they're a great thing to be stacking as well. So what are some of the cons on stacking Canadian silver maple leaves? Well, probably the biggest con was the milk spotting. Uh, so like for a lot of these, they get pretty heavily spotted. I guess this one isn't too bad uh, from 2012. Oh, uh, yep, it actually is really bad. <laughs> so you can see there on the left, just that huge milk spot. So if you buy any of these that are earlier than 2018, like 2017 or older, there's a really good chance that they will have milk spots on them or they will develop milk spots after you buy them. So you have to be very cautious with these. In fact, they're so prevalent to milk spotting, people joked that you could tell they were real and legitimate because they had milk spots. So that's kind of funny. Uh, you know, people said, oh, it's like a security feature on the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. If they don't have a milk spot, then it's probably a fake. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, and because they do milk spot, they sell for under retail. So like I said, you're not going to get those premiums back likely when you sell them, even though they are uh, coins. So that is definitely negative. I would recommend if you're stacking these, try and buy 2018, 2019, 2020 or newer, especially if you're watching this video like five years from now, um, you'll really be able to tell if the technology is working and if the 28s have developed or 2018s have developed milk spots or whatnot. But I would recommend just trying to stack the newer ones so you don't get ones that are highly milk spotted uh, like these. And then another con that I should mention is not a lot of people are big fans of uh, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, especially here in the United States of America. Uh, I suppose in Europe and Canada, most people are probably indifferent, but there are some people that just don't want their silver to have the Queen on it. And so if you're not a fan of that, then you're probably not going to buy it. And if you have like a local coin shop in your area that's possibly, you know, not a fan, then they might not want to pick these up or not pay you as much. So I would do your own research and figure out a plan to sell them before you start buying them, before you start stacking a ton of Canadian silver maple leaves. You know, go talk to your local coin shop and figure out how much they're going to pay you for these when you're trying to offload them. And then if they're not going to pay you enough or that's not going to work, then you can start looking at online bullion dealers and see how much they'll pay you, etc. And just have a really good exit plan for your uh, maple leaves because they're not quite as liquid as the American Silver Eagles. Um, in fact, I did a whole video on comparing the difference between American Silver Eagles and Canadian Silver Maple Leafs as far as silver stacking goes. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as in the description below. Um, it's a great video when I dive into both of them side by side and talk about all the differences and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, uh, my opinion on stacking these is that they are a good idea. I think that I will definitely try to be stacking more Canadian silver maple leaves in the future. I'd like to have a few tubes of these at least on hand uh, because they are easy to sell, especially for me. And because I do get a premium back when I sell them, they are a great thing for me personally to be silver stacking. Of course, like I said, you'll have to do your own research for yourself. But other than that, I do think they are beautiful one ounce silver bullion coins. I really like the look of the maple leaf and uh, sort of the finish that they put on there. I think these are actually gorgeous. And so I am a fan of them. I will be picking up more in the future, uh, but you should definitely do uh, more research for yourself on if they're right for you. I think in general, yes, these are a good thing to be silver stacking. Uh, so anyway, those were all of my thoughts and opinions. If I missed anything, please leave a comment down below and I'd love to talk to, to you about these coins. And uh, I wanna say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons! Out.